Hello Libra! Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read for the main part of the read, which is Tarot by Ellen Dugan, for supportive oracle cards, energy oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. We're going to do relationship first, single second, and oracle cards come out where needed. The double thing going on with the Emperor lately, what's up with that? Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm seeing going on here, you seem to be, this is Libra, you seem to be posed with a decision. I actually even see you with this decision talking it out with your partner. Um, it seems to start quite well. You're just saying, this is what's going on, this is what needs to happen, we need to make a decision. You know kind of what you want already. And I actually see the challenge card here with you, the Ace of Pentacles, you kind of already know what you think should happen. You're kind of already there. But you're very caring about how you're presenting it. Like, this is what's happening, this is the options we have. You're very smart about how you're presenting it because you're showing like the benefits of what you think should happen. But you're also giving lip service to the other possibilities. Now, the way this is received is I feel like your partner is not into the whole decision. The fact that this even happens, they're not even happy about. I'm getting that Nine of Swords kind of like they don't, they, they're not into it, they're not open to it, they're not happy about it. But it's not aggressive, it's just kind of like, oh, another thing we have to deal with. It's kind of that response. Which very quickly goes into the Nine of Wands, which could be the initial conversation itself, or soon after, they get this defensive position like, you know what, wait a minute, I don't really know if we actually have to make a decision. I think the way it is is fine. And I feel them standing against it like, no, I don't want to do this. Their challenge card is the star card. To kind of ch change their views here, it just kind of have a little better outlook with the situation. That seems to be their challenge card because I feel like there's a negative feel there. Like they don't want the change. They're opposed to the change. Their challenge card is to like, just to see, just to give it a little bit more thought and to be a little bit more optimistic that things are going to work out better. Just to give it the thought would help. Just the thought. But that's the challenge card. It seems like that's hard to come by in this situation for them. Especially when I'm getting spiritually. When it comes to this situation and these, this what you're posing to them, they have the Emperor where they're standing spiritually. Behind the Emperor is the Four of Swords. It's very defensive. And on top of it is hostilities. Like, they are not about this at all. They're going to stand against it. They don't want to move. They feel like they don't have to. They also feel like they have the power to stop it. And they're going to try to, is what I'm getting. So when this happens, I feel you coming back forward with the Ace of Swords. Very nicely, I feel like you're very kind about this, quite frankly. But you're like, well, let's just talk about it a little more. Talk about what's bothering you. Let's talk about like what you want to keep of this. Like If it changes, what's, what's the adversion you're feeling here? Why are you having such a unhappy reaction to this? Why don't you like this? But you're coming at it very softly. Like, let's just talk about it. I'm not saying anything has to change, but like, why are you upset? Because I feel like your partner's upset. The hostilities card, I feel like it's quite obvious to you that they're upset. And at this point, it might be even about, you know, let's just calm the energy. Let's just go through this and just soothe it down so everything's okay. So you're going forward just to talk it out. Not saying anything has to change. You're actually just you're stepping back for a minute, just saying. Not saying anything has to change. Let's just talk it out. What's bothering you? What's upsetting you? Like, let's just talk it out. Things seem to go over very quickly here. Your partner is not about it. They got the Seven of Wands, which it's another. It feels like they're directly opposing this, and they're not backing down, and they're showing you that they will not back down. And I'm getting this Seven of Wands is kind of like I'm facing that adversity and you're know, like pushing it back. Um, they're not having it. You're forced in a spot where you have to kind of like 
divvy it out. Like, all right, now that I'm, now that I'm here, now what do I need to do? How do I make it? Is there a way to move partial ahead or is there a way to keep this going and keep my partner happy at the same time? What do I need to do? They're not open to this. They're instead of just defending, now they're aggressively pushing it back. <laughs> so they've kind of changed from just saying, no, I don't want to, to like, I will not have this and we need to push it where I want it to go. They seem to be more aggressive. They go from defending to aggressive, like from def defense to offense on that. And I'm seeing you here, uh, like you're trying to balance it out, like try to think like, wait, well, what do I need to do? How do I need to handle this? Ultimately, I feel you kind of stuck. I don't feel like you're able to change. Like you, you came forward like you want change to happen. You're, you're posing the question, but I feel like due to the aversion your partner has, it's becoming, the molehill has become a mountain and you're just like, I, I'm going to have to abstain from it now. I'm just going to have to walk away. At least for now, no change is going to happen. And I feel your partner, that's what they wanted. They're very happy about that. And I feel like things are stably staying where they were. Uh, and But I'm getting here, if you're going to plan to come back at this later, I do see your partner with rest and rejuvenation. Like I don't see them actually even moving on this in the future, to be fair. I feel like they're just even solidifying their stance even more from this point forward. It kind of falls at that point. I feel like that's kind of all I'm getting with that. Like, they're not backing down. And if the farther it goes, the stronger they get with it. That Four of Wands, and I feel like the, rest, the rest of Rejuvenation, is just it just seems to fortify that Four of Wands. The two of these together just seem to fortify each other, in my opinion. It just really seems like it gets stronger. They don't want to move. They don't want to change. They don't like the idea of a possibility or a different possibility. So I feel all in all, just so as long as you see that, you'll know what to do with it. All right, I think that's it for Libra and relationships. That was kind of to the point. Um, it was to the point. It's not bad. I think today I have this thing about I'd like some I, I want happy endings today for some reason but I'm not getting them that much I don't know how bad that one seems to you but the fact that you're trying to create change and it's just kind of not working to me that seems like it's kind of, it's gonna be kind of rough for you but I don't think that's something you're gonna like but maybe it's not as bad as I think what do we have for Libra singles messages for Libra singles what do we have for single Libras what do we have for single Libras that's it? Okay. I, I got a thing with the double cards today. I don't know what's up with that. There's another one. Okay. I don't know if it's the way I'm grabbing them or what the deal is, but... Let's do some Oracle cards for Libra. Single Libra. What do we have for single Libra? Messages for single Libra. What do we have? That's it? Yep. Just two. Oh. Well... Well, you got a couple of really good cards here, to be fair. I'm going to actually cheat and see what's behind that. Yeah, you got some good cards. Um, <clears throat> now, single Libra. I feel like you've been evaluating and looking at what's around you. You've been assessing the situation for a while. Uh, very careful about what you move forward towards next. you got the Emperor card here saying, in the past... The way you've been moving towards is like you've been looking at people, trying to get to know people a little more. You haven't really moved forward on anything. You haven't really shut the door on anything either. But you're kind of like, where do I want to be in five years? It's kind of that energy. Like, if I'm with this person, where do I see myself in five years? Is Are we still just dating? Or is it just kind of like hanging out together? Or am I going to have children with this person? Am I going to own a house with this person? Are we going to move somewhere together? Are our finances going to move together correctly and together and we're going to build off of things or is this going to kind of crumble and fall in? You're looking at people kind of like trying to project it out forward. Like, where do I see this going? Because I'm looking for a relationship that I can keep, I can build with, and will go in a direction that I'm interested in going. And you're very, very careful about who you move towards or who you get to know next um, because you're just kind of like, I'm not into something that's just... Like, you have a goal. Like, I want to be this in five years. And you want somebody who's going to match that. That makes complete sense to me. And currently, you've got this two of pentacles here. It's There is a financial feel to this. Like, 
you you want somebody that you know isn't going to drain on you. You don't want to drain on them either. You don't want to be pulled along, but you don't want to be pulling anybody else along either. You want them to match your financial situation. Uh, again, you don't want to be drain a drain on somebody, but you don't want anybody to be a drain on you either. It's a very balanced feel here. And I'm getting here, there are some people coming towards you, but I'm getting the thing is, for most of you, there's at least one, if not more, that they match. And you feel... Well, they match in an emotional sense. Like, you're attracted to them. You like who they are as a person. But there's something else. It's either For some of you, it's like a family connection. Like, they have a lot of discord with their family. Or there's a lot of baggage there. Uh, or, I don't think friendships would really be a problem, but that could be it. Finances. Financially, they're in a place where you're just like, uh, I don't think that's going to work. That, I mean, if they get together with them, that kind of diminishes possibilities going forward. Because you got the star card, like there's a lot of hope here, but you got the nine of swords right on top of it saying, this isn't quite what I want. Like the passion could happen with a couple different people, could happen. But either family or finances or something else, could be even distance, is just a thorn in your side and you're just like, I don't really see that working out in the long run in a way that I want it to. And you're backing off from that. You're saying, no, for right now, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off. I'm going to keep that at bay. I'm not going to move forward on anything. I'll keep it on the table. I won't completely, you know, walk away from it, but I'm not going to move forward on it. And it's kind of like the door to romance is currently locked. Um, you're locked, But you're the one with the key, so if you want to unlock it, you'll unlock it when you're good and ready. Um, but you got the four of swords with the door to romance, kind of like, nope, not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, maybe there's something better. Maybe something that would fit me a little better is still a possibility. I'm just going to hold back from romance for right now. Now, somebody else approaches you. But I'm getting, in this case, it's the opposite. Instead of it being something lacking, they got a bit more than you. Something about them, just to you, it's like it's really good. But I feel like it still leaves you a little bit uncomfortable, but you're kind of like, well... I can raise to the occasion. I just don't want to be pulling somebody up to where I am. This doesn't like hold me back from what I want to do, but this means might mean I may have to raise the bar for myself a little bit. The uh, King of Cups with the Strength card is telling me there's a lot. This person is bringing in a lot, and they also have a lot of feelings towards you. They want you to be a part of their life. And I feel like if the first thing you're doing is like, well, all right, maybe in this area I can't really match them. Maybe I'm a little bit behind them in whatever this area is. But I have these other qualities that might be able to balance that off. So that could be okay. I might be able to work with this. You also have the sun card at the bottom. It's feeling validated and justified for holding off. You're like, I held off and I think I found somebody who fits what I want better. This person definitely won't hold me back from my goals, but may actually help me get even farther than I was expecting. And I can do these other things to balance that off. So they will also balance... They also benefit from me in their life. I feel good about this. This person, they bring, they're bring they very solid with what they bring in. I'm also getting with the Knight of Pentacles in the environment. What they're bringing towards you is very dependable, and you know that there's a lot of uh, security with that. I'm getting this is the person you're going to stick with for a while because you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is very stable. It feels more like a sound judgment. They come at you with a lot of passion. I don't know if the passion towards them back from you is as strong, but there's enough there that you're like, this is doable. There's enough passion there that you're happy. But that sun card is like, this is what I want, and I'm feeling validated for waiting. I feel like you made a good decision. I feel like you made a smart decision. You have honest feelings towards this person. I just feel like they might have more passion towards you than you them, but you can work with that. There's enough. There's enough passion is what I'm getting. All right. I think we're there for Libra. All right, so I'm going to shut that down there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct uh, reading from me, shoot me an email, and I'll send you my pricing list. Uh, James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.